G'day, welcome to Carrie's instructional video number one for yeast rehydration. Now yeast rehydration sounds like a simple process, however um, our yeasts are made with no emulsifiers in their production, therefore the rehydration process is a little bit different. Um, allow me to show you how to do it. Remember, always follow the instructions on the side of the packet, which says to rehydrate with 50-50 juice and water in this instance. Because we don't have emulsifiers, normally you use hot water only for rehydration initially. Um, but with our, with our yeasts, you don't need to uh, break down those emulsifiers. Therefore, you use a 50-50 blend of juice and warm water to reach the temperature of 28 to 30 degrees. So we have our cold juice. Um, and we add a bit of warm water to get to the target temperature. Bang on 30 degrees. Okay, so um, your packs of yeast should always be vacuum sealed um, and within date. This is Rubino Extra, which is our red yeast. Um, has extra xylanase naturally occurring in this yeast. It's an organic yeast. Um, that xylanase helps to extract more uh, skin tannin and colour. And I'm just using a little mixing tool here. Helps to aerate it. Makes a bit of noise. So I'll just mix this in. There we are, I've just mixed in uh, the yeast. Now I'll give it a good mix to give it some aeration. And then we'll leave this yeast for 10 to 15 minutes to uh, resuspend, reactivate. Um, Traditionally, with, with uh, conventional yeast, you get a lot of foaming due to the emulsifiers in the production. Uh, because we don't have that, uh, there will be a lot of less foaming. So this bucket may be enough. Um, I have a spare bucket just in the background in case I need to offload some of it. So we'll come back in another few minutes and have another look. So 15 minutes have just gone by and you can see uh, a little bit of foam on top but not like traditional conventional yeasts where you'd have an overflowing bucket. Uh, but this is normal, don't be alarmed. Uh, so I'm just going to give this uh, a quick mix, let you have a look at the surface area. You can see we have bubbles forming on top, um, we've got about an inch worth of foam there but uh, that's it. So I'll just give it a quick mix and that's ready to add to our tanks. Okay, so now our yeast is ready to add to our ferment. Just give this a bit of a mix first. Okay, now we'll just plunge that yeast into the ferment and she'll be away. 